be recurred and cancerous. So one of this, you wouldn't want to answer this if you responded back with a battle rap you wrote for cannabis. You beef for me, I'm even the score equally. Taking one Jerry Springer for beat your ass legally. Okay. Chill, what is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Denali, aka Don Squally, and we back at it with another Forza Horizon 3 build video, man. If you guys uh, are excited for Forza Motorsport 7, um, let me know down in the comment section. We're probably going to transition uh, our usual builds into Motorsport 7. So, as always, let me know what you guys want to see down in the comment section. But for today's video, man, we have a request coming from one person in specific. Louis J. Bello wants to see a 1969 Chevy Camaro build. Hashtag Squally Squad. So with that being said, we are about to jump up inside this one. Now, for those of you guys who are subscribed to my other channel, link will be down for that in the description. I have been a Chevy guy um, pretty much since I became a car guy, transitioned into the Nissans, and, um, you know, I, I still have a soft spot for the Chevys, let's just say that. Um, so that's why I chose this one, 1969 uh, Chevy Camaro. As you can see right here, the SS Coupe, very nice car, man, very sick car. Now, back when I was younger, I actually entered into a draw to win one of these cars actually i think it was yeah i think it was a 69 and um you know needless to say i did not win it but it was you know it would have been a a great dream for me to have had that car especially at that age i was only 18 but you know how the game goes uh but th you know through the the convenience of video games i get to live out my dreams every single day um, also, we're going to be doing an auction very shortly, so probably in, within the next couple of days. So if you want to see uh, an auction or be a part of that, definitely hashtag auction down in the comment section. And then I will let you guys know when the cars are available for the Horizon 3 um, auction house. We're also going to be doing the same with Motorsport 7 if they have an auction house, so definitely keep a lookout for that. Uh, we're going to start out with the conversions. Now, as you can see, we have a 5, oh, dang, a 6.5 liter uh, stock V8 motor in here. Now, obviously, the only other option, 6.5 liter V12, V10, or this 6.2 liter V8. I'm going to leave the stock engine in this, uh, in this car. I just want to see what it's about. I am, however, going to boost it. We're going to throw a supercharger on here. Just for me, I feel like these older cars... Their just natural habitat is with a supercharger on them. Now, it looks like we have a little, I, I kind of like the stock little splitter on there. So, we're going to leave that the way that it is. As you can see, this 69 here, rocking the duck bill spoiler, which if you guys know, I spent a lot of time and effort to get one of these on my G35. This car in 1969 was rocking its stock. So, it's really, it's funny to see where a lot of, uh, uh, not necessarily ricers, I was going to say ricers, but people who modify their cars extensively get a lot of their designs from, man. Like that big splitter, that would be considered ricey should it be on a modern car. You know what I mean? But back in the day, that was just what your race car looked like, man, you know? So um, we're going to throw the supercharger blower hood on there. I think with the supercharger that we put on this thing, it's going to be a good look. I'm going to throw a race tire compound on here. Uh, go ahead and beef up the front and back tire width. Tub that rear end out. Now, as far as the wheels go, normally I have an idea what I want to uh, put on this car, but I'm just going to skim through a few options. Obviously, you guys will know when I find something that I think suits this car. Now, I'm going to try something a little bit different here. Throw on some nice Mickey Thompsons here. Uh, those classic beadlock tie, uh, wheels there. And I'm going to see if I can make this work for this car now. Look at that. That's a little, that's a little excessive, man. Um, let's go throw a 17 on the front. And I guess we'll keep a 14 in the rear since typically with these cars, you typically have a smaller wheel in the back. So we're going to go ahead, do that real quick and see if we can make this style work. If not, I'll come back, uh, switch it up maybe a little later. But I think... I think it might actually work here. Uh, clutch getting upgraded. Transmission, definitely going to upgrade that. Differential, I guess we'll throw a race diff on here. Even though this is going to be more of a drag build as opposed to a drift build, 
which is, you know, with high horsepower rear wheel drive cars, they typically end up getting drifted anyway. So we'll probably be drifting this some point down the line. But I kind of want to set this up for like a drag build, man. This is an old school classic muscle car with a really like mean stance. So I think it's going to uh, I think it's going to be a little bit better suited as a quote drag build as opposed to a drift build. But you never know with these things. Uh, we're going to do a few minor up, uh, upgrades here. Supercharger, intercooler, definitely getting upgraded. Oil and cooling for sure, as well as a lightweight flywheel. Um, and I think with that, we're pretty good to go here. The only thing that I, like I say, I may change is this wheel setup. But what I'm hoping to do here is just, uh, you know, set, set a few things up paint wise to see if we can make those wheels work now as far as the tuning i'm going to do something i normally don't do here i'm just going to put the tire pressure down quite a bit um obviously with a drag setup i want this thing to have a lot of grip in the back everything else is going we're going to square up that rear setup um go ahead positive camber out the front we're going to do kind of a drag setup from the get-go here raise the front up drop the back and hopefully hopefully we can make this thing work uh, as far as the look goes uh, now so i'm gonna go ahead and paint the car here actually i don't know we should maybe raise the back drop the front a little bit uh, i'm gonna skim through the manufacturer colors just because i do kind of like the uh, the stripe we got going on here and i don't want to lose that now there's a couple colors that I really like in here, the red and the orange. Um, it's a tough call because I also kind of like this green. I think this is a nice classic color. I mean, all these colors, if you have a, a Camaro in this, any of these original colors, you're talking big, big money, especially, I mean, one of these like kind of plain colors, you'd be surprised, man. In mint condition, this thing is very sought after. Uh, but I think for this build, we're going to go with the orange just to kind of switch it up a little bit. Uh, the hood, we're going to leave the way that it is. The wheel color is really where I think I'm going to try to tie this in. Now, obviously, there's a couple different options, but I want to see what some brushed aluminum looks like on these Mickey Thompsons as well as some brushed steel. And there's a few other different options that I don't think I'm going to be too interested in. Um, so I'm going to probably go with the steel brushed on this just to give it a little bit of a rugged look but still be able to tell that there is in fact a beadlock tire on here so let me see yeah i think that's gonna look pretty good so let's go ahead and save that to the current car and last but not least i'm gonna go ahead and throw some decals just on the rear here now don't ask me why but for these old school mu muscle cars, whether it be a Camaro, a Mustang, oh, didn't want to do that. Whether it be a Camaro or Mustang, I just kind of like to have this uh, little black area in between the taillights. I just think it's a nice accent, and for whatever reason, um, I think on muscle cars it looks pretty good. Now, I'm surprised that we're not seeing a Chevy logo there. It would look a little bit better, in my opinion, with the Chevy logo. But we're just going to go ahead and add that up just for a little bit of aesthetic appeal. And with that being said, we are ready to hit the road, see what this bad boy can do. Now, keep in mind, we did set this for drag. So we got low tire pressure in the back. Uh, the rear end is, is pretty much squatted as low as it can get. Um, that way, the suspension travel when we do, you know, when we do launch, I'm hoping there's not going to be too much back and forth. Um, we got an invite for a party. Unfortunately, we're recording a video right now. So, I mean, you might you might get a shout out in the video if you see yourself there. Um, now you know why. Um, but we're going to do a little launch here, see how this thing performs. Zero squat and really not a lot of wheel spin, which is what we're after. No lag from that supercharger. She picked up and got us going where we needed to go. Now this thing... Uh, for a 69, it is a heavy, heavy vehicle. So for it to be able to get up and go like this, definitely impressive. Into six gear, obviously. Upgraded that transmission. Oh, look at this. What is this, a Dart? Known to be the fastest car in the game right there, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't know. 
I mean, it's running pretty nice. And you know what I just noticed? We actually lost our stripe there, which kind of bums me out a little bit. Can't say that I really like that too much, but I guess beggars cannot be choosers. But this thing is fast, man. This thing is actually really fast. See, we got a GTR and an R8 here. I wouldn't mind racing that R8 if we can catch him. Oh, okay. We hit a little bit of traffic. Lots of, lots of, lots of uh, cars to race here. Let's see. Can we catch them? Let's go, Squally. Get in the game. Get in the game. I mean, we're almost there. But I got a feeling this guy's probably going to pull from us. Let's see. All right. We got, we got the Audi. Wheels. My cousin Wheels. Subscribe to his channel, man. Link will be down in the description. Let's see if we can beat his drive guitar here. Oh, he's pulling, man. We need to get into some corners, some heavy braking. I think I might be able to catch him. No, that thing is gone, man. That thing is so gone. Here we go. Here we go. Ah! Oh. Took her a little too tight. That all-wheel drive, I'm going to assume V10... Audi R8, man, a little bit too much for the Camaro, it looks like. And we lost the head-to-head, -head, man, but that's okay. Uh, give my cousin a little bit of a plug there for his channel. It all works out in the end. Um, so really what I'm, I'm noticing, this thing shines on those launches. You can see we're not hitting off the red line. I think lowering the tire pressure definitely helped us get out of the hole there. Something that I've really never toyed with in the past as far as, uh, you know, rear wheel drive drag builds. Like, I really never have done anything about the tire pressure. And it's actually helping that rear end stay quite a bit planted around the corners for such a high horsepower vehicle, you would think. This thing would just want to get the, the rear end out, but... It's actually quite composed, man, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, but what I'm thinking is we are probably going to pull off here. Um, find somewhere to take a nice little screenshot with the old Camara. The Chevy Camara. The Camara. Um, and put an end to this one. Uh, so as always, if you guys did enjoy it, don't forget to smash that like button. If you guys want to see more and you're not subscribed yet, um, definitely do so, man. Like I say, we're making all kinds of videos. Forza Motorsport 7 is going to be out, so you can look forward to some of that content. Um, requests are still going to be the same, man. So definitely let me know what you guys want to see down in the comment section. As always, I am your boy Dinali, a.k.a. Don Squally. I just want to say thank you guys for watching, and we're going to catch y'all at the next one, man. Peace. Don't die. Oh shit, where you going, bro? Don't be creeping on my friend. Don't be creeping on my friend. You and your homie. Oh, nut shot. Nut shot. Oh, buddy. Let's go. And your boy, man. Get him out of here. Oh, fucking. Oh, my God.